Hey, what's up guys? Haven't uh, done a uh, kayak update in a while, so I figured to start off this fishing season I'd go over uh, what I'm paddling and how I got it rigged out. So this is a Hurricane Skimmer 140, extremely light, 55 pounds with the included rudder and the Angler Edition. So we're just going to work uh, about a stern and show you how I got the boat rigged up. So at the very front, got a GoPro Hero 3. This has the Wasabi Extended Battery Pack, as you can see here. And this guy has a runtime of about 8 hours. So with a 64 gigabyte SD card, I run this thing all day. So when I start my fishing day, I just turn it on and I let it run. And it hasn't failed me since, but I really haven't fished for 8 hours, unless it's a tournament, and I haven't maxed out the SD card. So awesome, Wasabi Extended Battery Pack. Love it. Highly recommend it. And I got my little tether here, so in case this uh, mount does go, I won't lose my camera. So tether your stuff when you can. So moving back, I got my net set up here. Uh, just a DIY bungee to uh, hold it down. But it's the uh, Promar net. It's got the plastic coated uh, net fabric. So getting your uh, treble hooks out fairly easy but a good net pretty decent price all right uh, fish finder setup i've got my homemade scotty transducer arm of course when i was coming up with this uh, scotty released their uh, new transducer arm so i will be upgrading to that here very shortly but i just made my arm out of some uh, components that i had so this is a garmin side view uh, transducer obviously it's quite large but uh, it sits just right under the hull of the boat so the side scan can shoot from side to side. Give you guys a better vantage point here so you can see the setup. But just a uh, Scotty arm that I cut up a little bit and mounted the transducer. And I got side scan, down scan, and traditional sonar. And when I need to bring that up for any reason, just bring it up, lock it in place with the slip disc, and then it's out of the way. But uh, through hole uh, mounts, these came from Hook One. I got a silicone up the top here to completely waterproof it. But these are these are a good product available on Hook One. And moving back, got the pedals. I don't mind the dirt. I was on the river, so got a little dirty today. But these are the tow controls. This comes with the uh, the rudder kit and the Angler edition of the Skimmer 140. So you control the rudder with your toe here as it articulates, but a lot better than the, uh, the sliding back and forth and they're uneven. So your feet stay even and you just work your toes to go left and right. I always have a marine VHF radio. This is the Cobra model with uh, Bluetooth, so I'm able to answer uh, any calls I get out in the water with uh, the Bluetooth. But weather updates, uh, you got channel 16 and 9 for emergency calls to the Coast Guard. Something good to have. I like the weather. It kicks on if there's ever a warning out on the water and gives you an update. Fish finder. This thing's brand new to me. Garmin 73 side view. Definitely liking the side scan. I got a lot of learned on it, but the uh, last couple times I've, I think I've, the only reason I've caught fish was because the side scan really helped me identify where they're at. And I power this up with the Nokia. Uh, Pro Power battery kit, uh, lithium ion battery, uh, pretty sweet, nice and light compared to your traditional 12 volt deer feeder battery. But uh, I was able to get seven hours of runtime the first time I used this. That's uh, pretty impressive, especially running GPS and a side scan transducer all day. Uh, safety accessory I always carry an air horn. I usually just leave it down here in the scupper hole if I ever need to use it. Uh, you know those boaters don't see us or something like that. You know. Give them a blast and let them know where you're at. Hand paddle. You use this, you know, when the uh, current's light, sitting in a spot, maybe drop shot or something, maintain my position instead of using the paddle. Also makes for a good club. Got the little hook to grab on to branches, etc. Just a versatile little tool to have on the boat. Definitely like that. My center hatch, kind of here where I keep all my tools. Aluminum pliers. Braid cutting scissors, 
Got my uh, digital camera, my SD card, somewhere around the tournament. It's waterproof and just got a little float on it. Bending branches float. A good battery life on this guy. Got it for pretty cheap and it's worked pretty well for me. Resists the water very well. Um, dye markers, some garlic scent on them. Spike It brand. Got the traditional bottle of Spike It. Some Sharpies. Never have enough of those. And fish sticks. Gotta get that flavor on the soft plastics. My seat, uh, Hurricane, does have an included seat that comes with it. It just was not enough padding for me, so I upgraded to this uh, GTS seat. Very, uh, very thick, comfortable. Uh, obviously not the frame lawn chair south seat, but it does the job for a day's worth of fishing. And then my life vest, I always wear this. I can't stress that enough to everyone, always wear your life vest. But this is the Mustang Survival Manual Inflatable. Very light, stays out of the way. And then got a whistle attached to it, as well as another uh, small Leatherman multi-tool, in case I lose my scissors or anything that's attached to my body. Let's go to the other side. Alright, gear tracks come on this guy. I don't typically use these forward ones, but nice to have. Never know when you'll need them. Uh, Scotty paddle leash. I always like to have my paddle leash. You don't want to lose that. That's like your motor, so take good care of it. But bending branches paddle. This is the navigator. Nice wood blades. It's got the adjusting ferrule on it. So this thing can go from 225 centimeters to 240 centimeters, and you can pretty much unlimited feather it for uh, high wind conditions. Rudder control on this side. Just lift it up. Rudder goes down. Pull. Rudder comes up, and you lock it in on the cleat. Rod holder arrangement. I like the Scotty rocket launchers, so I got the locking uh, deck mounts here. You just press the button that's right here and lift up and that rod holder comes out. Want to put it back in, bam, locked in. Awesome, awesome product. I use the uh, Scotty backing plates on these. Highly recommend those to uh, firm up thin walls kayaks such as the uh, Hurricane Skimmer. On this side, we got my stakeout stick. This is about six and a half feet. Just uh, if you're in shallow water, you plug this into the mud and then you use the anchor trolley ring to uh, anchor yourself out. Useful in shallow water only, of course. It's my tackle bag. I carry four tackle trays. That's typically enough for anything. Usually got top water, crankbaits, uh, rattle traps, square bills, because I love those. And then my spinner baits, buzz baits, and jigs. In the front, I always carry my marker buoy. I have a couple videos showing how to do that. Great useful tool. Got a bag full of all my rigging accessories, all my lead, all my hooks, drop shot rigs, etc, etc. Bug spray and uh, sunscreen all the time and then I got a dry box where I keep all my uh, valuables, my wallet, my cell phone, my keys. And my cooler bag. This is uh, new to me but been using the soft sided cooler a lot more. This is the angle version absolutely love this thing so far it's been doing great I'm definitely going to post a review about that and my hog trough pretty much the standard for all catch photo release kayak tournaments that are uh, going around today so you got to have that and working our way back got the uh, the safety flag scotty safety flag got the camera mount this is another gopro hero 3 this is a different battery pack on this this is the Brunton battery pack. I definitely like the Wasabi better than this one. Get about five hours of runtime out of this versus the Wasabi's uh, eight hours. And 64 gigabyte SD card in here as well, so about five hours. So about three hours shorter, so Wasabi definitely better. And then we're at the very back of the boat. Got the Torquedo ball right here. We'll go into that in a second. And then right now I've got the rudder set up on here. So this comes standard on the angler version of the Skimmer 140 uh, angler. 
Um, good smart track design, a lot of uh, authority. So you'll be able to turn this thing on a dime with the, this rudder on there. And then I go with two other setups, uh, depending on conditions, wind, current, etc. So if I'm not going to use the rudder, I will throw on the Torquedo. And the Torquedo attaches with this arm. It bolts right here onto the bolt. And then the motor plugs up in through there. And this is the motor. So it's about a one horsepower equivalent. And then the rudder control linkage hooks up right here and you're able to steer it with uh, the tow control that we went over earlier. It's all powered by this battery, which is extremely light for being able to last all day, but lithium battery. It's got GPS included on it. It's, just, it's crazy advanced. But this thing will last all day running about three and a half miles an hour. If you go full throttle, you know, it'll be able to drain it down a lot quicker. But this thing will run all day for you. So I use this, you know, when I'm doing pre-fishing or if the wind's really bad and I just am lazy and don't want to paddle all over the lake. But uh, this throttle control sits up in the cockpit with me and you're able to go forward and reverse. So just like a boat throttle and reverse. And like I said, about three and a half miles an hour all day long. Or if you want to be crazy, you can floor and do about seven. And then the last uh, setup I go with on the back of the boat and this is when I am uh, depending on anchoring somewhere I use the anchor wizard so this guy is rigged up with a Scotty mount and I'll plug that into one of my rod holders and you know I lose a rod holder but that's okay and this chute here goes on the back and replaces the rudder and it pops up like that and it holds this guy, the five pound mushroom anchors, which I typically like to use. Five pounds will hold you in the vast majority of conditions. If it's uh, not holding you, then it's, it's too windy. You shouldn't be out there in the first place. So that's pretty much my whole setup, guys. That's the Skimmer 140 by Hurricane Aqua Sports. My boat of choice and what we'll be uh, filming from for uh, the 2016 season. So if you got any uh, questions, comments, Leave them down in the bottom and I'll try to answer them. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know. Thanks.